And how is it going, everyone? Welcome to Roll Chan Mini World, which is none other than a Mega Man for the Sega Game Gear uh, mod that apparently plays exactly the same as the original game, but with the difference that instead of playing as Mega Man, you play as Roll. And I figure that. You know, since this game is probably just like an inferior version of the NES Mega Man, might as well, you know, give, give it a little bit of a spin. So here, Roll is converted into a fighting robot, as you can see right there. And how is it going, Draenoth? I don't know what huge win you're talking about, but thank you. So now roll fights. The super robot girl was born. Apparently this was made by someone uh, in 2018. That guy cynic something that you saw there for like a second. Well, that guy is the one that made this mod. So I'm gonna... I don't know what's the difference between normal and hard, but I'm obviously gonna go hard. And so far it seems... There is only four robot masters, so I'm not sure about that. But sure, why not? I don't mind. Hey Kyle, how is it going? Beating La Mulana, what you mean? Alright, so as you can see we are roll, and we shoot, and we also champ. Basically nothing out of the ordinary. Hey, as I say, this game only is a, well, this game, this mod only is a palette swap, well, a sprite swap, not, not palette. Which means that... Well, the music is a little bit weird, I gotta say. Like, the, the, the game gear is trying to do the best to, to not die. The explosion sound effect. I mean, I'm more worried about the, the music instruments. I think that they seem like the biggest issue here. And these enemies are ruthless. So keep in mind that this is the hard mode. I think I might also be receiving more damage. I think that in a regular <laughs> Mega Man game, these enemies don't deal that much damage. Yeah, the sound in general is very weird. But then again, it's a Sega Game Gear game. So I don't expect it to be the pinnacle of sound engineering, particularly. Uh, it is true that it could be better. Oh, shit. Okay, and the dead sound effect right there is <laughs> a little bit rough. It's fine though. Don't worry about it. Game Gear is trying its best. Wait, was that an extra life? Or what did I just get? Do I even have a life? So I'm assuming I do. It would be weird to play a Mega Man game without lives. Well, or any game from this era, for that matter. Without lives. But yeah. Is it's important to not get hit because we, we have very little health. Ah, damn it. Guys are a particular issue. Not sure how to trigger that one up there. But he gets triggered there, but ah, oh, fuck. Okay. This part is gonna be an issue. Yeah, keep in mind that also this wasn't really meant to be heard by headphones. Keep in mind that the Game Gear is a little handheld console that has some very small speakers. You know? Well, that was a bottomless pit. It doesn't even show a, a dead effect when you <laughs> when you fall to a bottomless pit. That's interesting. 
Uh, wait, I want to see my life counter. So yeah, I think that three is my life counter. But bro, these lives are dropping like it's nothing. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> maybe it's not gonna be that hard to get too far. Hey, Blue, how is it going? B very interesting message to receive this game. Indeed. The, the, the message that I expected from Blue. Correct. How are you supposed to dodge that guy, by the way? Like, you trigger it, but it seems completely undodgeable. It's fine though, we don't need to dodge him. It's fine the way it is. And what I really wonder is what compelled this guy to make a mod for the Game Gear version of Mega Man. But maybe he made it for the NES versions as well, but I don't know. Maybe he really liked the Game Gear version. It's a possibility. Your ass. All right. Wait, what? Wait, wh where are those things coming from? I think those things just spawn there and. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Not sure what that mouse does. Oh, you cannot hit it. Well, not at least from the same. Wait, can you even hit it at all? Oh, I do, okay. You just need to... to aim well. Mm, I don't like the way this looks. I really don't like the way this looks. Yeah, well, it's okay. I can get hit. I'm not sure how we are supposed to do Well, I'm assuming you, you jump to the left of the... the rat. I think it's supposed to be a rat. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's a mouse. Okay, you can at least disable those guys before they blow up. They come out of nowhere. Oh, wait, so this was supposed to be a frozen place. But isn't the guy here called Stone? Wait, what was the, the, the name of this guy? Was it Stone Man or something? Oof. I was, I was gonna die there. Now my question is if this even has checkpoints. Or if I die as soon... Well, if I die. If I had to start from the beginning as soon as I die. Yes, that would be fucked up. But it would be something I could expect. <laughs> Especially because keep in mind that I'm playing hard mode. So hard mode could have a lot of fucked up stuff. Because it seems like this hard mode is unlike the hard mode of Mega Man 2 that was just the normal mode. In the Japanese version, right? But this one seems like it is a, a, a real hard mode. Wait, was I supposed to go up? Doesn't matter. I saw that coming. A little bit fucked up to put these enemies at the same time as the champ. Wait, and this is a leap of faith. How am I supposed to... Oof. Alright. That, that was fucked up, mister. Oh shit. There is an energy tank on the left, but I don't care. Also, these levels are quite long. All things considered. I still have no clue where the boss is. I'm not even sure if I'm close. Do I like this platform? No, oh, okay. This platform seems fine. Hey, don't worry. This platform is uh, totally fine. Um... Another leap of faith. I can look down, by the way. 
Okay, never mind. It's a whole floor. But you cannot look. Oh, the boss. Nice. I'm assuming there will at least be a checkpoint here, right? I will assume you will make a checkpoint before the boss. And the HP ER rape is always there. This guy is not choking around though. Wait, oh I have a slide. What's out to say? Because that's not dodgeable otherwise. <laughs> uh, seems that the game gear cannot really handle the action. Fuck. Wait. This is before. Okay, this is before the boss. I have a a, a good amount of life, sadly. So that means that I should be able to to withstand. Uh, some attempts. But this guy doesn't seem easy. I mean, the biggest issue here are these rocks. More than anything else. Yeah, those rocks are gonna be a problem. <laughs> those rocks look very hard. Okay. I think that the best thing I can do is remain next to him. I'm not sure how I'm even supposed to dodge these rocks. I mean, it, it even seems like the... Like the console is not ready for the rocks. I really wish I remember how this guy was called, because... I mean, he can be called Rockman. It would be a problem if he had that name. Uh, I thought he was gonna jump, but he summoned that first. Alright. A <laughs> rock head? No, that can be possible. Robot masters need to have the man well, or woman suffix at the end. Otherwise it doesn't count. I think this is the right strategy though. But the issue with this strategy is that it's hard to tell when this guy is gonna do a short jump or a, or a big one. But it seems for the best. It also doesn't seem like he even summoned rocks by doing this. But yeah, I guess it is the right choice. Mmm, that was very close. Got your ass, biatch! Okay, so that's the, the right strategy. What do we get? What did we get? You get power stone. Alright. And a password. Remember that one. Probably we'll need to use it. Uh, hello? Oh, you press start. Hey, he was called Stone Man. Wait, isn't Na Napalm Man an actual... Well, actually, aren't Napalm, Bright and Starman actual robot masters? Or maybe Stone Man is as well, it's just that I don't remember him. I can't tell, you know that Mega Man has so many robot masters that it's hard to tell which ones are are real and which ones are not. But I mean, these ones are real because they were made by Capcom, you know. This might be a mod, but the robot masters are are still the, the ones that they are in the original one. I, I definitely didn't expect the 
this level of difficulty though. But it means that it's probably gonna take a lot longer than I initially expected. Because most of the game gear games that I that I played on stream, I like I finished them in less than an hour. But I, I'm not so sure about this one. Because I mean you have four initial stages. I can imagine that the Dr. Wily stages are not gonna be easy at all. Ah, really? That's fucked up. But yeah. I gotta say the sprite work is very... very well done. All things considered. I wonder if the guy made it himself, though. I think that these sprites are actually based on uh, games where Roll was playable. Like, I think Roll might have been playable in in Mega Man 10 or something like that. Like, I think that she was she appeared in a lot of those like bonus modes that those games had. But I think that maybe they are taken from there. I think what the guy did is just swapping the sprites, essentially. Well, which I'm assuming is not very easy to do. But yeah, the sprites themselves, I think that they are still Capcom made. Nice, another extra life. Funnily enough, I still haven't game over. Not a single time. Not a single time game over because of the insane amount of extra lives the game is giving me. I still don't know if there is a checkpoint aside from the boss room. But so far, every time I die it seems like it's been in the first half of the stage. These guys are very annoying. But I keep that in mind. These guys are quite annoying. I really gotta get rid of this one here. If I don't, he's gonna respawn. Oh, another extra life. And the game is so generous with the extra lives. It's unbelievable. Oh, I, I think I remember this mini boss. Like from a, from one of the NES Mega Man games. Not sure which one. But I think I remember this guy actually existing. I'm pretty sure those spikes are insta kill. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, especially because the missiles don't even disappear. If you don't break them... But hey, at least I got a checkpoint here. I still have two lives, so... Very... Very good. The problem is that these missiles... Can be... Wait, did I get another one? Holy shit. <laughs> they are just giving them away like free candies. Mentioned that this missile is also having some very weird trajectory. This guy is gonna be a, an absolute pain in the ass. Also, doesn't seem like I can really spam the shots here because oh, I pick up the healing, I think, somehow. Or maybe it was another one. Ooh, I almost fell. Okay. Sometimes the top of the screen flickers a little bit. A little bit weird. There is another extra life. It's definitely worth it if this enemy is the only thing between me and it. But I guess it's only worth it assuming there is another checkpoint. Oh, well, if there is healing like this, though, I will say it's pretty worth it. Oh, 
I see. So some of these missiles just happen to be aimed. Ooh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass too. Unfortunately, the checkpoint is here. Well, there is something I can do to get rid of these morons. You actually have the ability to use a uh, rush. Well, I don't think this is supposed to be rush, but it's something similar. Yeah, I guess that works, though the amount of damage I took is very bad. Wonder if this extra life respawns every time. I don't think so, though. No, it, it doesn't. It wouldn't make any sense if it did. Oh, I was supposed to slide. This is gonna be hard. I still don't think that it's worth it to to use the the coil thingy here. Then th this missile asshole is so annoying. <laughs> That's the problem. And the frequency where he shoots the missiles is also very messed up as well. well I guess you can just manipulate where the missile is gonna be summoned. As long as you do that, you should be fine. Alright. So this part, the first one you break it, the second one you slide, and then, well, there do whatever you can. This guy is probably better dead, so he might respawn, no, he didn't. Nice, that went well. Neighbor. Nice, very cool game, Capcom, you are very good at level design, I gotta say. Yeah, good game design, that, that is correct. You know Capcom that doing that on the NES, where the stage takes a while to load, it makes sense, because you have time to react, well, for the most part. But here, if the spike is right there, I don't have time to react, mister. It's quite literally impossible. It's essentially a leap of faith. Mr. Capcom. Please, don't, don't do that ever again if it's possible. So I'm gonna get mad if you do. Something tells me you will do it again. Don't you have fading roll chan? No, I mean I have fading roll chan. What I don't have fade is in Capcom, which is a different story. Okay. I almost got absolutely fucked there because I thought I was supposed to go right. Well see, at least these ones you can see them coming. Hmm. This is a leap of fate, dude. I'm assuming... Okay, well, that, that's fucked up, though. Like, th this game desperately needs a way of... Also, you cannot kill these guys, right? No. Uh, this game desperately needs a way to... To look down or up. You know? Like, this is the Sega game gear. You could have asked a Sega for, uh... For tips. Alright, so Napalm Man, what do you have? Some bombs. A lot of bombs. Maybe those are better to dodge by jumping. Because if I slide, I can slide one, but I don't think I can slide the other. Play the Master System version? I wonder if this has a Master System version. Maybe it does? I have no clue though. That's fucked up. Hey man, that's a lot of range. Holy shit. The range on... Okay. The range on those explosions seems a little bit messed up. A little bit. Okay.
Wait, and you are back? Wait, are you serious? You want me to input the password? Because if I do this, it's not gonna let me go. You are out of your mind. You want me to input the password every time I game over? No way. You are absolutely mental. Alright. Fuck, I will have to go to my VOD. Uh, why are you like this? What makes you be like that, uh, Capcom? I mean, I understand the game gear doesn't save stuff in memory for the most part. But you didn't need to do that, you just needed to put a continue option. Alright. Give me a second, because I need to obviously watch my own BOD. <laughs> I have no other way, because I obviously don't remember the password. I don't have photographic memory, as you probably would expect. Uh, okay. So, what was the then password, I wonder? I mean, having to input it every single time fucking sucks, dude. Uh, I, that, that, that's something that is a very bad idea. But yeah, that's okay. If it, if it is the way it has to be. Okay, so this is where I beat Stoneman. And then the password is... If Twitch was a little bit faster. But yeah, there it is, okay. So it's... Uh, gotcha. Okay. Why do you have to be like that though? I don't know. Wait, it was like this, right? Yeah, it was. Alright, I probably... I don't know if I can beat this guy, though. Might be a better idea to try another Robot Master. Because this guy seemed very hard to beat. Unless he also can be cheese like Stone Man. And as long as you are close, he... is not hard to beat, but I kinda doubt it. Like, this guy seemed like a real pain in the ass. I kinda wanna try uh, the other one, Bright Man. I mean, after all, keep in mind that this is Mega Man. You can beat the stages in any order you want. You don't have to go them. Oh, ho, ho. Well, this is like also one of the. one of the Mega Man stages that has the same gimmick. How am I supposed to make this jump? The fuck? Oh, you can make it, okay. <laughs> I thought I, I wouldn't, but you can actually do it. We have a grasshopper. No. You suck of shit. But you do you get threatened by the other grasshopper? Come on, bro. What an asshole. I don't believe it. Why will you even turn back like that? Oh, and that champ wasn't even good. Might be a good idea to reset lives, but see, the thing about resetting lives is that here it's not as simple as pressing continue. Wait, what? How many lives do you have? Oh, okay, I guess you have th uh, three, technically four, instead of, uh, you know, as it is in most Mega Man games. Unless I pick up an extra life and I didn't realize. All right, that was bad. But I want to see, maybe it saves, no, it doesn't even save the, the password in the screen, at least I remember it. But... That's fucked up, dude. I, I, it wasn't that hard to put a continue screen. Capcom. Well, you can just put a continue screen. It doesn't cost you extra for putting it there. You can just put it there. You know, like you did with literally every single Mega Man game you develop. Yeah, I don't see why the Game Gear will be an exception. I mean, I play Game Gear games with continues. <laughs> so yeah, I'm afraid that... Um, are a little bit... 
Uh, yeah. You're a little bit confused, Capcom. It's okay. I, I didn't expect this to be a, a salt fest, though. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, I'm assuming the game is... You know... Probably not that bad if you play it on normal. I mean, I can't play a Mega Man game in a normal difficulty if there is a hard option. Wait, do I want to go down here? Wait, there are two possible routes. Hmm. Wait, they are all coming. I, I have a bad feeling about this. One of them already turned around and this one too. Okay, you could actually jump there. But this route doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, that was very close. Now, I'm not gonna play Mega Man uh, and Base. I don't like Base. The only reason why I'm playing this game is because of Roll. And that's not even something intended. It's, it's a mod. Hey, you want me to jump there? No. That jump doesn't seem possible, right? At least the checkpoint is here, but... That jump didn't seem possible, but it also didn't seem... Like there was anything else, right? I'm not sure, though. Feels like I'm missing something. Like, the jump is b very hard to calculate sometimes. So, don't kill this guy, first of all. But is this champ really possible? You know, it has to be. I don't know why you get out of making champs like that, though. Is that something that is unrelated to... to the difficulty you pick? Like, those champs are gonna be hard whether you play on normal or on hard. I'm out of lives, right? No, I still have one more. Then th this is proving to be quite hard. Hey, I don't even want to imagine the, the Dr. Wily levels. Like, the Dr. Wily levels are probably gonna be so annoying. They're probably gonna be extremely annoying. But at least you will be able to use every power. I don't think this game... That you can... No, okay. Well, I suspect that you cannot swap... Uh, quickly. Doesn't work that way. Jesus. It's also important to jump before this thing reaches the top. Because otherwise it doesn't let you jump. At all. Even if you... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works. What? Alright. Oh, and this is the boss. So I guess this stage is very easy, but the problem is how easy the boss is gonna be. Or how hard, for that matter. Already shooting... If that's the only thing he has, he doesn't seem very... Okay, no, he has more. Wait, he has a time stop? You weren't the asshole that had a time stop. That was another one. Why are you jumping so much? What the hell? Is this a bug? No. It's... Okay, he seems too random. So how are you supposed to counter that time stop? <laughs> like, is that a free hit? Like, no matter what you do, he's gonna hit you there. Is that how it works? 
Cut your ass, bitch! With one point of hell remaining. Holy shit. Let's see if I can remember the password without looking at it, uh, like, twice. Yeah, take this free hit. It's on the house. Okay, so it's uh, four seats and... Okay. Do you remember that? <laughs> I think I do. The, the problem, I think, is the position of the three dots. Like, they are on the E. They are three ignoring the first column. The other two, I think, I can remember. Okay. It seems fine by me. So, there is something that I didn't think of. The amount of lives... Because if the amount of lives are still counted... Maybe I shouldn't take that password. How many lives do I have? Because, yeah, the lives are counted now. But are they gonna be counted with the password? Because if they are counted with the password, I'm afraid that I'm... I need to play that again, but better. <laughs> Which will be a pain in the ass, but... Oh, you're supposed to go down, okay. Oh, thank you for writing it down. No, I don't think they are blue dots. Oh, they're cool, I don't know, but... I don't think so. I didn't see them in the previous password. <laughs> Wait. Do I fall? Whew. I fall, but there were spikes there. Will immediately murder me. Okay, these champs are fucked up because... Well, I'm for... Okay. You cannot shoot these guys when you are next to them, but they will be next to you. No, no. <laughs> don't find a password they call her. No, no, don't worry about it. We have to do it the right way, bro. These passwords have to be found... By me, not by anyone else. At least I got somehow a checkpoint. Though I, I want to see the password thing, so let me kill myself real quick. I want to see if the password remember the lives, which I'm assuming they will, but I want to see it. I want to see it with my own eyes. They probably, I will assume they remember it. But we will see. Nothing is set in stone. <laughs> Starman. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they are a nice, beautiful. Wow, in that case, I gotta tell you that the password is absolute dog shit. Because if the only thing that the password store is what Robot Masters you defeated. And that's it. Well, and I guess the difficulty. But, like, that's a very weak password. Like, very unop unoptimal, I mean. Like, the amount of information it holds is very shit. But... I mean, that being said, that's better for me. You know? Hey, like, that's the thing. It might be dog shit for... Like, a technical perspective, but it's perfect for the player. Because remembering lives will make this shit very hard. I will basically punish you... Uh, like, playing in a more adventurous way, right? You know, I mean, in a technical aspect, it's dog shit. And yeah, that champ is gonna be very hard. You're supposed to do it from a very, very specific place. There's not much you can do otherwise. Okay, that, that works. Cooks. Oh, also blue. 
today, if I can beat this game in a time timely manner, there's gonna be Puyo Puyo Fever too. To see if I can finally beat that game or not. I want to believe ever since that time I got better at Puyo. What the hell? This guy is not getting hit. What? Wait, what's his weak point? Doesn't seem to be his eye. I mean, it has to be his eye. But it's not working. No, sometimes it works, it's just that the hitbox is dog shit. Okay. I believe in you, but just... Just what? Wait, I got an extra life? How? There wasn't anything there. Unless there is a hidden score or something. Did you eat good, good breakfast this morning? I mean, I ate breakfast. I mean, it was good the same way that it is good every day, you know. Okay, the hitbots of this guy is ridiculous. <laughs> He, like, he's very clearly gone and he still hits you. It's like a square hitbox, even though he's shaped like a... Like a diamond. Well, like a... That. N not diamond, I don't think that's the right word. You get the point. Yeah, but th this guy is gonna be a problem. Because... <laughs> It's, it seems completely random whether he gets hit or not. At least it doesn't seem like he takes too many hits. Like, like he takes four hits to go down. Oh, and also this level is very short as well. Alright, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die on this attempt, but that's not a problem. This guy has a shield. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, this is exactly like the... Like the actual fight. And he barely deals any damage. Like, surprisingly, it seems that I could probably tank all of his hits and still not die, you know? Ironically, I'm probably gonna die here, but... What a shover! Holy fuck! This was the easiest Robot Master so far. What an absolute shover. Unbelievable. Shape like what? A conic shape. Damn, speaking of conic shape, okay. <laughs> I can remember the dots on the right. And then one on the left there. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember that. B very interesting shape. How is it going, Yannick? Come on, bro. Bro can do much more than that. Unbelievable. Yannick is gonna... Gonna get visited. By the fighting robot role. Wait, there's something I should realize. My damage, or rather the damage I'm receiving. The reason why that guy was such a shover is because the game is not on hard anymore. Like when you use the password system, it no, no longer counts as hard. Because look at the damage I'm receiving, it's much less than before. So I think the game, the password doesn't even remember the difficulty. What? Yeah, something tells me that this password system is very bad. It doesn't even remember the difficulty. 
Basically, if you want to beat the game in hard, you have to one coin clear it. That's the reason why the other stage seems so easy in comparison. That's a little bit weird though. Because I mean, didn't he remember this stage? I, I feel like he remembered this stage on hard, but I guess it doesn't do it any longer. That, that's very, very weird. <laughs> but hey, it is the way it is. No, okay, I get it. No, no, I get it, I get it. The first time I played this stage, I played it when I still haven't game over, and I even reached the boss without game overing. That's why I remember this stage being harder, because I did play it before the game over. But once you game over, the password assumes you are playing on normal. Holy shit. I can't believe that. Well, even this guy has less health. <laughs> Interesting. They're very cool. Oh, I forgot about that. God damn it. Completely forgot about that bullshit. <laughs> well, on the bright side, this is gonna be a lot easier than I than we could expect, because it's not a hard mode. On another hand, that's a shame, because I wanted to beat this game on hard mode. Seems that the game doesn't even want me to do that. But hey. What can I... what can I say? So then again, keep, think about it this way. Bright man with that guaranteed damage time stop, right? How the hell will you be supposed to... Oh, don't jump, okay. I press the jump button in case there is any doubt. Just that it didn't want to jump. I was out to say, um, what was I out to say? Oh yeah, that bright man, that guy... Unless there is a gimmick that I don't know, which I will assume that it involves using a weakness. Bright man can hit you for free, and assuming that this game has the... The damage of, no, of hard mode... You're gonna get turbo fuck. Like th that boss will seem to be close to impossible. Like as I said, unless you use uh, you use weakness. I don't even know what the weakness will be in the first place. Ah, but that's a shame. I wanted to play this on hard mode. God damn it. Fucking dog shit password. I don't remember if the pa well, but then again, the only game that had difficulty selection in Mega Man was uh, Mega Man 2. So, aside from that, any of the other ones with password, well, like it wouldn't matter the difficulty. So I'm assuming this guy is gonna be very easy. You can probably just face tank his ass. So the, the, the range of those explosions is fucked up no matter what. Like, look at that, dude. Like, beating this guy on hard mode <laughs> will have been... Like, I will already been dead on hard mode, if there is any doubt. I mean, I guess they're using a weakness, which I probably will even have to use here. Because this guy is out of control. I still have two more lives, though. But yeah, that's fucked up. But yeah, that's fine. You're not even dodge shit like that. Or what's even the intended way of dodging this asshole? Oops. 
Ah, oh, that's a shame. One hit away. By the looks of this boss, I'm guessing this game is banned in Vietnam. <laughs> Why? We see it going in Wasabi. This is Napalm, man. But are Napalms banned in Vietnam? Or something? Maybe they are. That shit is so hard to dodge. Well, he's dead though. Wait, you, you put the password? But bro, we're gonna have another password, don't worry about it. We'll need to write uh, this one down. I like that her lipstick also changes. Okay, so the password is this. Uh, yeah, that one will be harder to remember. Uh, okay. Write it down, blue. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, sure, whatever. Same reason as Mega Man 5 imagery that is similar to the Vietnam War. Damn. Was the USA so powerful they had robot masters? Oh shit, and wait, we, we still have more robot masters. Just that we cannot choose this one. And Blue is going straight to the same place that Dr. Wily goes after Mega Man 9. We're going straight there. Oh yeah. But you're not supposed to break this. Thanks for the password, but wait. Where in no wait, wait a second. Weren't they five of them? I'm pretty sure there were five dots, not six. Right? Or or am I misremembering? Right? That's a shame that extra life. This ain't even waste man music. I don't know what music it is though. But yeah. I mean as I said, I did expect this port of Mega Man to be mediocre at best. So that's the reason why I wanted to play with this mode. Oh shit! Wait, where are the big bubbles? Or do the small ones count too? Oh, they do. But they blow up uh, quickly. Okay. No, that's a reference to Mega Man 9, you stoner! In Mega Man 9, Wily goes to shale. <laughs> I'm still unsure, guys. Seems like you don't have too much time to react to that. Maybe I'm supposed to use a power, but which one? So they say that this is Gravity Man, huh? Oh, because another one appears to the left. But yeah, I guess it's not related to... to my powers. But then what? Oh, no. <laughs> Leap of faith everywhere. Beautiful. Amazing. Ooh, that last one was fucked up. Alright, I hope that's a checkpoint. How many lives do I have? Oh, zero. Well, amazing. Guess I will have to redo that. Probably. Uh oh. This is Mega Man 6, right? in this section in Mega Man Seeds. I mean, I do gotta say that it's cool that it combines different things from the NES Mega Man. Like, that, that's something that I find cool. But yeah. Like a compilation game. 
Oh, this is Mega Man 5? I see. Yeah, this part is cool. Okay, the, the weak point is on the red dot. Okay, he has quite some health. Missing shots left and right. Uh, it seems like this is just like that one uh, mini boss on the on that space a level that the hitbox is so badly good there. I think I got an extra life by the way. Also some healing. the perfect roll game? You think so? It should originally be a roll game. Wait, I didn't get an extra life. Well, I'm most likely dead here. Unless this guy is free, which I doubt. Already a bad start. Though he seems extremely predictable, though at the same time, that water thing that he summoned seems very fast. Like, I try jumping out of it and it still hit me. Though maybe you're supposed to slide. Okay, I think I remember the password, actually. Wasn't it like this? <laughs> Let's go. See, my memory. My memory still works. But I don't know what the fuck you wrote down, blue. Why did you wrote six dots? Are you stone? I where did like what even was the six dot that you saw? Like, you saw a dot at F. Wait, I guess she seven. Oh, she seven is okay. So G7 is a troll because there is no G7. I see. So you're a stoner, it's okay, gotcha. So you're you're a purposeful stoner. Yeah, but pretty nice. Almost fell for it. But thankfully my memory is better. Okay, but it should be fine though, like the stage itself is not hard and the boss is not hard either. I should have won on the first try to be fair, but I kinda suck. Bait next time. Is a certified roll beta tester? Him. Certified even? know that you could get a cert for that. Nice. That was... Uh, jumping earlier there is easier uh, than trying to do it close to the spikes, of course. But you have to know that that thing is there, clearly. Him. And then he doubled down. Uh, this is why we cannot have nice things, see? We, we cannot. It's not possible. Oh, an extra life. Those are always cool. Exactly. Yannick understands. But we cannot have nice things. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice still that you remember what I linked a year ago. Seems that... As if you remember that... It, it, I, I think it means that you saved it. 
It was horrifying, yeah. Reminds me when, you know, the typical scene in a sitcom where it says, I can't, I can't look, this is too horrifying. Like, they cover their faces and then one of their fingers moves away so they can see. Yeah. The, the typical sitcom joke. It sure is horrifying. Wow, I reached this with full health. Right, so let's kill this guy now. No, I'm not talking about blue, don't worry. Also, this thing doesn't let you shoot him. You will want to dodge it like that. But this guy is a turbo shover. I'm even more of a shover that even gets hit by him. I would like to say that this is the easiest boss in the game, but that will go for Starman. Starman is clearly way easier. <laughs> Time to end blue. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. Do I get a new power-up? I do. See? Uh, uh, you understand what I mean. We cannot have nice things. It's just not possible. It's a utopia. Toad man. Wait, isn't this the guy that has an undodgeable rain? I guess you're supposed to heal him before... Oh, but this stage... This stage is so annoying. Uh, what game was this for? No passwords, you are right! Oh shit! So you need to do Wily's Castle in one go? Ah, uh, that's a problem. It's from Mega Man 4. Oh, I thought it was 3 or 2. But interesting. But this stage is annoying simply because of the gimmick that when you champ you get sent backwards. <laughs> As a specter. I mean, it is how it is in the Mega Man games. It's just that in the Mega Man games you also have a continue system, which you don't in this game. That That's the problem. Wait, can I...? Okay. Man is comical easy once you know the funny. I mean, for what I remember, you could hit him when he's about to unleash the rain and he wouldn't do it, right? That's what I think I remember about him, but it's been some time. Alright. For now, we are surviving. Oh, that's a big ass snail. Wait, it, it blew up with one shot? Holy fuck, okay. Nice. You call this game easy? I don't think this guy is supposed to die in one hit, right? Well, I mean, I'm glad he does, but I don't think that's supposed to be the case. This vicious... Oh, with spikes on the bottom even. Nice. Very nice of you, game. At least we reach the boss. Alright. So we're just supposed to spam this guy, right? Tch. 
really like champing. Well, he's a toad after all. Fuck. He was able to summon the rain, though. He hit me, really? Okay. I mean, I still have a good amount of lives. And this should be the, f the last boss before Wily. But then there's probably gonna be a boss rush too. That's the issue. Having to do all of that in one go is very fucked up. It deals quite some damage though when he lands on you. Like the contact damage is not a choke. But if there is a boss rush, which there most likely will, I need to to know the weaknesses. I can probably guess them, but hey, that shouldn't have worked. Come on. The game won't be finished this stream. It's a possibility. I mean, if there is no password of any kind, and it, there, mo there most likely won't be, I, I, I do believe that I, I cannot beat this. Oh, especially... Wait a second. Oh, wait, the, the wily stages are... Like, there are no stages in plural, it's just one stage. Well... That's the case. Oh, wait, that doesn't... Okay, these are not insta-kills. That's good to know. These are normally insta-kills. Oh, shit. Mercy for roll. The problem is that I cannot see shit. Okay. At least for now there are no bottomless pits, but you don't know how long that's gonna last. Huh. Well, there are no bottomless pits. Yeah, and these things don't... Or maybe they do kill you. Well, that's weird. <laughs> so I guess they kill you sometimes. I guess what's happening is that what kills you is the... The laser itself, but not the spark. I supposed to go left? I'm gonna lose all my lives here, by the way. Unless this thing can stop time. Oh, it can. Oh, but it doesn't work. Okay. Pretty cool of you, game. What's the, the idea of having a time stop that doesn't even stop time? Fucking baited. Wait, I cannot. Okay, there we go. Quickman stage is so much worse with the smaller camera. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but no, it's useless to use a Sparkman here. Guess what are you gonna do? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, and here is the boss rush. I'm assuming it is. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It has to be. Or not. So there is no boss rush. I don't believe it. Okay. Beautiful. Uh oh. I think I like that pattern, though. 
he seems that he's completely random. Which can also be a problem. Do I have something aim? I mean, I could use this. No, that, that doesn't go up. But the range should work, I guess. Not if he's not on screen, you know. Does it hit him? Wait, where is his life bar? Doesn't have... Oh, there it is. But it seems that the <laughs> there is so much flickering... Well, not only there is flickering, but you can only see his life bar when he's on screen. Which, which other one works? Okay, not the wave. I will assume the star also doesn't work. No. Uh, well, the stone? Well, the stone seems like it will work. The question is if it deals damage. Which I doubt. Not to mention that the sprite makes this very unplayable. The sprite overload. Uh, it hits him, but it barely does shit. I guess it's it's gonna be the Mega Buster. How many lives? Well, I still have enough lives. Can you get a higher with Tango? Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea to switch every time this this guy is up there. They know he was named Tango, though. That's a cute name. Yeah, the game cannot handle the boss. Wily is too powerful. It's okay, I still have two lives. But if wars come to wars, I can still somehow survive. Yeah, you can use the boost the buster with Tango out, but I wouldn't be able to hit him normally. Like in the sense that if he's in range, I will have to summon the guy, even when I wouldn't want to do that, you know? I think I prefer... Well, not to mention that it seems that I can hit him most of the times, you know? At least it seems like it works. But well, okay, not there. <laughs> On that one, you, you cannot hit him. Alright, but this is the right attempt, don't worry about it. We still have two lives. I mean, I hope this is the final boss. And I will assume it is the final boss. But it's hard to tell. Let's just fingers cross that this is the final boss. Also, don't even know where's the right place to st to stand. <laughs> Hoarding meter for the second game. No, I just feel like there is no reason to use meter. It seems that. Well, first of all, if I'm gonna cause a sprite overload, doesn't seem very useful for me. I mean, though the, the problem is him spawning there is fucked up. I mean, you can do it with this thing, but that's the thing. You will waste it when... Like, it will be not only a waste of meter, but also a waste of time if he's in range to try to hit him with that. I don't think it's a good idea. Problem is that he appears randomly, so... Uh, that's the issue. Also, I didn't read. <laughs> he said, what a cute dress. See, that, that wouldn't have been a bad comment if it wasn't followed by the other comment. Unbelievable. Now, there is a problem. What if this guy has a second face? I mean, I have the hope he's not gonna have a second face, or the simple fact that that's Wily Capsule. Uh, it, when there is a second phase, it's because the first phase tends to be Wily Machine. But since this is Wild Capsule, it probably is the first and last phase. Yeah, exactly, it's what I mean. Like, it's already the capsule, so 
will be hard to think there's some fails, but you never know, I mean... This game is very unconventional for Mega Man standards. That's for sure. So, I, I, I will assume anything can happen at this rate. Uh, that's so bullshit. So, probably staying in the middle is for the best. I think that by staying in the middle, my chances of getting hit are very high. That's the issue. But then I can't hit this guy, dude. <laughs> I mean, it, this is the only thing I can use. Well, this and the rain. The problem is that this thing takes so long to reach up there. I haven't tried Flash, but... I don't think Flash does shit. Unless it damages him in full screen. Let's see. Wait, did I switch? Oh, I switch. Well, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't think I can do much about it. Like, if I get unlucky enough that he spawns too high... Wait, he got hit there? What? <laughs> you know... Oh wait, the flash actually does work, I think. Because he did get hit. So I cannot use it. Oh, I already ran out of flash. That's fucked up. <laughs> Come on, bro. Are you out of your mind? And he can only be hit twice. That's another thing to remember. But even if he's in range, it seems that like you can only hit him two times anyways. That's messed up. The best thing he can do is spawn in the middle down. Any other place is a problem. But yeah. thought that this boss was a good idea. Well, uh, who is Capcom? But still, who in Capcom thought that this boss was a good idea? Oh, and that hit me twice. That's bad. I mean, I still have one more life, even if I die here, but, like, th this fight is so ass. I'm dead here, yeah. Uh, fuck me, dude. Damn it. Alright. I mean, when it comes to energy... Only thing I have... Well, unless one of this is his weakness. It's probably the longest wily fight ever. I mean, if he has a weakness, I can imagine this guy not being that long. Just that I don't know what his weakness could be. It also seems like experimenting is a problem because you don't always have the chance to hit him. God damn it. That's fucked up. Yeah, I don't even know where to... Like, there are some times there's nothing that can be done. I guess I will try finding a weakness, cause... But the problem is that so many of these... Of these things suck balls. <laughs> Okay, it's not the star, because I hit him and it didn't do shit. Depending on which one it is, a lot of these things can be... ...very bad. You know, I think that there is no way... 
basically you just have to hold that shit. And the issue is that using coil here... Like, by the time you go up there, he's already gone because you take a while to summon coil. Unless you summon it beforehand, then you decide to use it or not. I mean, it's not like you need to use coil. Yeah, I'm not sure... how good of an idea it is. It might be the best idea, though. It also causes the game to kinda get fucked a little bit because of the sprite. <laughs> but at the same time, it seems that the usage is very high. And sometimes you cannot even jump because you are right there. Fuck. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I mean, the problem is that now I have to go through all the garbage before. But, like, aside from that, the issue is that... How am I gonna beat him? <laughs> like, that's the part that, that I don't comprehend. How will I be able to beat him? The game over music is Wave Man's music. That's because he's gonna get the game over. Don't you worry. But you know, like, that's the thing. I will need him to have a weakness. Because otherwise, you can fight that guy forever. Not to mention that... Like, the amount of time you have to waste is insane. I'm also not sure how you're supposed to pick up the extra life here. Because no matter which one of these two you enter... Oh no, you were supposed to enter the other one, actually. Wait, if that's the case, because any extra life will help here. Let me reset, because I want to get that extra life, but I'm pretty sure I already went to the to that one before and it didn't connect there, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I, I have a feeling I already did that. Well, hard to tell, though. But it seems that... Uh, trying to beat Wily with anything but the default Mega Buster is a bad idea. It's just not a good idea whatsoever. But yeah, that's the, the issue. I, we are basically completely at RNG's mercy. We are at RNG's mercy 100%. No doubt. But yeah, it's an issue. I, like, RNG is such a deciding factor in that fight. It's messed up. I really thought I already tried going this way, but I guess I, I didn't. It could be. It would also be nice if regular enemies would drop extra lives. That would be amazing. Well, they already did it last time, but I want them to do it this time, of course. Clearly. But yeah. It still seems like... It's gonna be a roulette. That final boss is gonna be an absolute roulette. That's my, my issue. Whether it works or not... It's gonna be pure luck. Nothing more than pure luck. Hey, it's fine. So be it. In the meantime, how was everyone's day? Seems that we're gonna be stuck here for a while. How did, did everyone's day go? Personally, it's been a cool day, gotta say. So you know that the summer is approaching. 
but the good thing is that today there is like a, a nice breeze that makes the, the heat go away. And it's probably gonna last for a couple days. Which means that it's gonna be a nice temperature. I mean, not perfect, but also not extremely hot, which is great. I'm getting hit by everyone here. At least I got healing. We'll appreciate an extra life, but I guess that's too much to ask. Watching more Freerin and she's top tier. Nice. This guy is obviously dead. Yeah, it's that anime. Hey, I I'm not a, a, a big fan of well, I'm not a big fan of anime in general. But when it comes to medieval anime, it's just I cannot. be forgotten after the season ends. I mean, that happens to every show, you know. <laughs> that, that's not a, a new thing, you know. <laughs> happens to every single show. There is not a... I mean, the shows that I remember for years to come tend to be so few of them. So it's not rare that... <laughs> Ooh, that was so close, holy shit. It's not a rare occurrence. Shosho? Yeah, but the thing about Shosho is that you're comparing a manga from, like, one of the first shonen mangas, dude. <laughs> That's not a, a right comparison. Besides, I'm pretty sure most people didn't really think that highly... I mean, except for the hardcore fans, I don't think that much people did I die there? Excuse me? Oh, and it's back to the beginning of the stage, really? But how the fuck did I die there? That, that didn't make any sense. I guess I should try to use a coil there, but that sucks. Why the fuck did I die? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I did the exact same thing last time and I didn't die, but now I do. It just feels like killing me, alright. Pretty nice of you, game. Thank you about it. Well, thank you for it, no, not about it. Oh, fuck, dude. Now I'm gonna be paranoid about that champ. I'm gonna think that I'm gonna get killed again. Well... It's gonna be very random then. Or what? I mean, I think I know the reason why I died. But I disagree with the game. I guess it doesn't hurt to use this shit. So, at the same time, the angle here will fuck me up. But no, I guess that works. 
That didn't work, though. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be like that. Damn it. Alright, so I guess you should have to pray that the champ works. Well, at least you can skip all this garbage. Just that by skipping all of this, you don't get any chance of getting any item. But judging by the current luck I've been having, I don't think that really matters. But yeah, at least it's nice to see you can skip this shit. But damn, that's... Yeah, that's very irritating. I can tell you that. Yeah, I just don't know why I died. I mean, the time I used coil, I know why. But after that, it, it, it didn't make much sense. Team, I don't know how I didn't die there. Also, thanks for the raid Ultra Mega Mighty. How are you doing? Just here playing a mod for Mega Man on the Game Gear. But yeah. And thanks for the follow Kausin Academy. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, we, we might be stuck in this uh, place for a while. Because unfortunately, this game doesn't feature a continue uh, option. So when you game over, it's all the way back to the main menu. Though you have passwords. But as you might know, in the Wiley area, the passwords are wordless. Where do we know that practice for Mega Man Seeds? <laughs> I guess Mega Man Seeds could be cool for... Or do we know that since you have a lot of tools? Oh, you got it? Oh, congratulations! Uh, here it will be nice to do a know that. Unfortunately... <laughs> This probably... I mean, you will see it when we get there, which will be in no time. But this has what I think it probably is the worst final boss in any Mega Man game that I have played. You will see... When I get there, assuming I don't get killed in the process, like it seems like it's uh, happening. that this fucking toad randomly shoots me okay, with one point of health. I improve your abilities. What I should do is improve my game choice. <laughs> That's something that I should improve. But that is indeed a, a, a good idea. Clutch win is still a win. Of course. But yeah, unfortunately here, you will see... Well, th there is a section in this level that is very annoying. I might die a couple times to it. But no, there is something that you will see. Well, y you have the, the, the this legendary lasers that don't kill you in one hit, by the way. But you know, that's not the problem. Uh, the problem is... Well, th this place is not a problem because uh, you don't have any any bottomless pit. Like, th this thing is just here, I guess, just to show the, the amazing capabilities of the game gear, I guess. Because there is no difficulty of going through this. The problem is this place. Here is where you have lasers everywhere. And you can see that they don't kill you immediately, but... It's random. It's like sometimes they hit, they kill you, some other times they don't. I, I don't understand. As you can see, it did kill me there in one hit, so... It's just very weird. It does whatever it wants. Oh, I need to remember to go to the left. I'm dying again like I did last time. Just I don't remember to go left on the right time. And funnily enough, I do have a power that supposedly stops time. 
only to realize that it doesn't stop time. The amazing game gear capabilities. Well, I think that at this rate you won't be able to see the final ball. It seems that I'm gonna get killed before I get there. We will see though. Oh, I could have gotten that extra life, well, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, some, some of them don't kill you in one hit, it, it, it's just a, a roulette. Oh, and here you go to some weird warp. For some reason you go to a warp and then you get to this place. That is where the boss actually is. Good job, thanks. I only have two attempts to do this. So yeah, here allow me to show you the, the worst boss in Mega Man history. This, like, when you look at this boss, you look at it and you are like, well, but this is a very standard wily boss fight. What's the problem? You might think. Problem is that it's random if this guy spawns in a place where you can hit him. And it's random where he spawns completely in, at, in the... In the sense that he could spawn right next to you. I mean, it's not a problem if he does that. The problem is when he spawns into you. <laughs> That's the issue. And as you can see, he has a lot of health. So basically, it's a very long boss fight that is even longer because of the fact that uh, sometimes you just cannot hit him. Do you have any weapons that can hit above you? Only the acid rain and it, I, it didn't seem very effective. Like, I tried every sub weapon and they all seem just very, very bad for this boss fight. I, I did try them, in fact I lost some attempts because of it. But unfortunately... Well, it's the Acid Rain and there is another one that can hit him. I forgot which one though. There was one that I think could hit him very high. What was it? But yeah, don't worry, I did try and it's just not very good. Like, if you're not using the Mega Buster, it's it's a bust. That's kinda ass. <laughs> That's full ass. And not of the good kind. But yeah, I mean, it all depends on luck. See, for example, right now I'm actually getting lucky. Because he's appearing to be hitable in multiple times. And he's also not spawning right next to me. So you can look at this and be like, wait, what are you complaining about, you moron? Like, this is such an easy boss fight, are you dumb? I know that you might be thinking that, and I don't blame you, but... Uh, yeah, this is purely dependent on luck. I'm getting super lucky here. And I'm actually g gonna kill him right here, in fact. <laughs> Well, there it is, I guess. Did I win? Well, I I don't know if that's the final boss. I mean, it would make sense if it was. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I guess I won. Uh, what a... Uh, this game is something else. Well, that was Mega Man for the Game Gear. Well, Roll Chan Mini World, to be precise, because it, it's a it's a different game. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's the same game but with Roll. Solid victory, thanks. But yeah, th this game is not very good. Um, considering that it's on the Game Gear, though. Keep in mind the Game Gear is a handheld console, so having a game like this and being able to play it on the go, it's a cool thing, but at the same time, I don't know, 
I think that they, they, they probably shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Quality assurance should be fired for that boss. Then, while he's kneeling to, to roll. Uh, well, another thing about quality assurance team is the fact that the difficulties not remember after using the password. You know, that's very messed up as well. Uh, though I gotta be thankful for that because if I had to play that wily castle on hard mode, I would get murdered. Uh, so I guess I gotta thank the password system for being so bad that it cannot even save the difficulty. But yeah, that was Roll Chan Mini World for the Game Gear, so uh, shishis for that.